Dot. Hello everybody and welcome back to TipTart and welcome to Wix tutorial series. Today we're taking a look at creating and editing a blog on your Wix website. Uh, to get started it's very simple, it's got its own dedicated button over on the left. Uh, just click that and choose add now. This will start to create your blog for you, might take a few seconds and just click get started. So you can see that this has added a blog page to the top of our website here. Now if you select your blog and choose settings, this will bring up all the recommended settings that you need to set in order to have a completely set up blog for you. Uh, if you click settings, you can choose your blog's subject, for example, photography or medical, uh, makes sense this one's going to be photography, and you can choose whether or not to email notifications to subscribers. Under display, you can see all sorts of information about what to include in your feed. For example, you may want to display author name and picture, date and reading time, and a views counter, probably not a comments or likes counter, it's completely up to you. You can also choose whether or not they can log in from the blog menu. You can change the layout of your all posts feed and your category pages as well. Now all posts shows every post that's ever been made and your categories can be arranged like so. Um, for example, we could have tiled for one of our um, all feeds posts or perhaps side by side, which is what I think I'll choose for this one. Under category pages, for example, you might want to choose a different layout um, just to help illustrate the fact that you're inside a category, perhaps editorial. Underneath design, you can edit the look and feel of your blog. For example, the navigation menu, you can change the font. or you can change the alert icon color, something like that. You can also edit the design of your posts by changing border and background color, for example, changing fonts there as well. And you can do that individually um, for all posts or for categories. You may want the uh, font title to be slightly smaller, but still be larger inside of a category. Finally, you can change how buttons and backgrounds look. Button text color, for example, you might want to be black and the button color, you might want to be a light green. You can choose the blog background and change that as well. Underneath support, you'll find all sorts of support options for your blog and you can read other support articles or get in touch with the community. There's also a large amount of add-ons that you can include onto your blog. Once that's done, your blog is ready and set up to be used. Thanks very much for watching everybody and I'll see you all next time on TipTap. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks and tutorials. Thanks for watching.